My clinical practice uh, is by and large advanced prostate cancer, metastatic prostate cancer, that's um, the lethal form of the disease. And I have a uh, laboratory that works on trying to figure out new ways and new therapies to overcome mechanisms of resistance. That's one of the things that I'm interested in. So I'll be talking about the glucocorticoid receptor uh, and comp potential compensation for the androgen receptor and progressive castrate resistant prostate cancer. So prostate cancer uh, kills about 30,000 uh, men in the United States every year. And the, the vast majority of those are from progressive castrate resistant prostate cancer. Prostate cancer is driven by hormonal signaling through the androgen receptor. And our first line therapies are aimed at curtailing androgen receptor signaling by castration modalities, either chemically or surgically. Nonetheless, it's uh, invariable that patients uh, who succumb to the disease die from castration resistant disease, disease that has progressed despite that. We now know that the androgen receptor still plays a major role even after first line hormonal therapy has failed. And novel therapies uh, block the hormone receptor or stop production of novel hormones are effective in castration resistant prostate cancer. However, even those inevitably fail. The glucocorticoid receptor is a similar nuclear hormone receptor to the androgen receptor. It has similar structure and actually has homology at the DNA level. So it, when it binds a hormone and is activated, it recognizes the same sequence that the androgen receptor does at the DNA. A study that we recently published uh, we, sh we, sh we showed that the expression of the glucocorticoid receptor so uh, increases in the setting of androgen deprivation. So in patients who underwent hormonal therapy, their tumors upregulated this receptor. So that's contextual evidence that perhaps there's some compensation. So our hypothesis is that in the context of even the most potent hormonal therapy is that truly ablate androgen receptor signaling, there's an increase in the glucocorticoid receptor that then can bind targets at the DNA level, which used to be regulated by the androgen receptor, and then lead to pro cancer survival and progressive castrate resistant prostate cancer. Our aims of the research are to uh, test if modulating the glucocorticoid receptor itself in preclinical models affects the development of castration resistant prostate cancer, to examine the glucocorticoid receptor levels as well as some downstream uh, survival genes within circulating prostate cancer cells that are in the blood from our patients, and finally, uh, to use genomics to try to determine what are the downstream uh, signals besides some of the ones that we have a priori hypothesis about that might be uh, causing this compensated survival by way of the glucocorticoid receptor. So I just want to show you uh, some preliminary data that we've gathered on this project due to uh, your funding. On this graph here, what we've done is looked in culture at prostate cancer cells, and these are two different common prostate cancer cell lines that are all treated with androgens. That's R1881. Dexamethasone is a glucocorticoid that activates the glucocorticoid receptor. MDV is MDV3100 that blocks the androgen receptor and myth, mifepristone blocks the glucocorticoid receptor. And the key take home message is that if you add dexamethasone, your survival of prostate cancer cells in both cell lines is higher despite MDV3100. Despite blockade of the androgen receptor, if you have glucocorticoid receptor activation, it can compensate. If you block that, the survival goes back down. This is uh, data from an animal model in which we 
knock down or diminish the amount of glucocorticoid receptor that a prostate cancer cell can make, then made a tumor in animals, uh, castrated the animal and looked to see whether or not the animal developed a castrate resistant tumor. And what you see here is that normally the tumors develop at a given rate. However, if you knock down the glucocorticoid receptor after castration, there is much less tumor, castrate resistant tumor development. So things are, I think, moving forward. We have uh, last slide I want to show you is the second aim, uh, one of our patients that we were able to extract circulating tumor cells from using our flow cytometry core uh, in the cancer center. We can collect circulating tumor cells, put them on a slide, and then stain them for the androgen receptor, for example, or the glucocorticoid receptor and SGK1, which is a pro-survival gene. We're developing ways in which we can interrogate all three at the same time within the same cancer cell. So our goal eventually is to, one, test to see if glucocorticoid inhibition in people makes a difference, and two, see if we can use these sort of techniques to uh, identify which patients would be most appropriate for such therapy. So thank you very much. Thank you.